came back from the Oregon Track Club in 2009, and uh, I didn't have any ideas of uh, coaching anyone at the time, and family issues and so forth. Uh, you know, took my time and took off time as a family and so forth. And in 2010, I got a phone call from Erin Dunahue. And uh, she says, I'm back in the east, on the East Coast and I still love to run. Do you think we can get together and we, you can train me? And uh, I said, sure. I said, let's get together and we talked and we talked about the name of a club, the New Jersey, New York Track Club. And uh, she started to uh, training and next person that called was Dion Baskins. He was another young man who uh, lived in Jersey and wanted to train. And the club would grow to have many great athletes throughout its inception to 2020. With the club adding more people, Gags would put together a coaching staff that were there with the club for different periods of time. That group of coaches included Tom Nohilly, John Troutman, Rich Agnello, Eric Schaefer, Jim Cefeli, and Mike Mulqueen. Also helping the business side of the club was Larry Erickson. The New Jersey New York Track Club with Gags at the helm would end up with 14 athletes at the club's first Olympic trials in 2012. It was in the women's 5,000 meters that the New Jersey, New York Track Club would see one of its own have a tremendous race. Julie Culley, an Olympian, 2012, came out of Rutgers. With 200 meters to go in the 5,000 meter Olympic trial final, Molly Huddle was in the lead with Julie Culley right on her heel. Both women are absolutely hammering. It's not a matter of who is going to the Olympics, but who is going to be the USA champion and take home the win? Cully is staying right on Huddle's heels, waiting to be the one to make the final surge. In races like this, it only matters who decides to be the toughest. And Julie Cully brings it home. At the Olympic Games that year, Julie would finish in the top 15 in the world in the 5,000 meters. Also in 2012, the club would have a member run in the World Indoor Championships. Michael Rutt, out of Yukon. While running under gags, he would qualify for the 2012 World Indoor Championships and run his way into the finals, finishing sixth in the world. Rutt would also end up with a personal best of 145.08 in the 800 meters. Just a tremendous person, a tremendous runner. Very, very proud of him for what he's done over the years. One of the most interesting things that happened with the New Jersey New York Track Club was one athlete who moved up a distance and had tremendous success. Cole Tully, great runner, graduated of Villanova, tremendous person. Nicole Tully came to the New Jersey New York Track Club without ever racing the 5,000 meters on the track. She would line up at the Peyton Jordan Invitational at the beginning of May in 2015. She had such a tremendous race that she would line up at the USA Championships in the same event later that summer. In Tully's second ever 5K, she would be crowned USA Champion. It took a tremendous kick coming down the home stretch for her to beat second place by 0 .01 seconds and third place by 0.15 seconds. She would go on to compete in the World Championships and be the 13th best 5K runner in the world that year. The 2016 Olympic trial final in the men's 3,000 meter steeplechase had a loaded field. We can see Don Cabral get passed by Hillary Bohr with just under 300 meters to go. All the men are fighting for their lives to punch that ticket to Rio. Stanley Cabeni can't quite keep his composure and goes down in the water pit. Cabrel narrowly escapes without seriously interrupting his stride and we can see a shift in his demeanor. 
He starts his kick and powers through the last barrier, pumping those arms to qualify himself for the Olympics. Cabral would make the finals in Rio and end up as the eighth best steeplechaser in the world. Sadly, 2016 would be the last Olympic year Gags would see as a coach due to the global pandemic of 2020. The New Jersey New York Track Club would set two indoor world records. The first coming in 2017 with the men's 4 by mile and then in 2018 with the 4 by 800 meter relay. Accomplishing those two feats takes a great team and individuals. These athletes did something all runners dream about and are current world records as of this recording. The New Jersey New York Track Club had so many great athletes that accomplished personal bests, broke four minutes in the mile, and competed at the Olympic Trials and USA Championships. Gags coached the New Jersey New York Track Club just like he always had, with extreme passion and a big smile. After going through Gags' career in our interview, he ended it with something he wanted to share. Well, I'd like to thank every athlete that I had the opportunity to represent as a coach, every institution that I was a coach at, and I, I really, really loved, loved my 60 years in the sport of track and field. And thank God that I have so many great memories and I have a wonderful family. I'd love to thank our children, David, Diane, Nancy, and Ralph. I'd like to thank all our grandchildren. And I really love to thank, and I love my wife, Robbie, for all the years that she and I had been together. I really appreciate her understanding the number of hours that have been away in time. I love our family, I love my wife, and thank you everyone for being with us, amen. Gags would hang up his stopwatch in 2020. He started his career wanting to be a football coach and got his foot in the door coaching track at Roselle Catholic. Little did he know in 1961 that he would coach some of the best athletes the United States has ever seen. Have a career spanning almost 60 years and a lifetime of memories. Gags coached Penn Relay champions, national champions, USA champions, and Olympians. But at the end, it all boils down to what Gag stood for, a coach who gave his athletes everything he had on and off the track, a coach who wanted to bring out the best in people and help young men and women grow to what they were capable of being, a coach who loved what he did every single day. Gags, a coaching legend.